Well, we all know that Santa Claus is coming to town, but before you hang your stockings and say your prayers, you will want to join in on the gift giving, especially when it comes to spreading the joy to the little ones out there. And here to share some great gift ideas is author and Michaela Johnson's aunt, Janet Toshin. Good morning, Jana. Hi, Janet, how nice are you? To have you Hi, here. nice to be here. Lots to talk about. Uh, you are a very talented author, which we always Thank love you. spotlighting right here on our show, and we love the th fact that you've made some time for us here this morning. Yeah. So talk about some of these great uh, selections for kids this holiday season, starting with your own book, Sticker Girl. This is great stuff. Well, you know, this is a book that is actually dedicated to my nieces, of course, which one of which is Michaela. And it's a book about uh, a girl who's obsessed with stickers and her stickers come to life. Um, and there's actually even stickers in the back that come with the book. Um, and so I'm very, very happy with it. And then, of course, my life as a gamer, which I did with uh, my son, who was here with me last time mm -hmm. I was here, with all of his very fun uh, illustrations. But there's lots of books this season. For me, it's always about books for kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's my it's my favorite thing to give. The eleventh Wimpy Kid is out, which is incredible. Yeah. And uh, there's Gertie's Leap to Greatness, which is a great new middle reader. Two new Elephant and Piggy books. My friend Barbara O'Connor's book Wish, which is fabulous. So there's just so many. I was at Barrington Books the other day, mm -hmm. and I'm always big on supporting the local bookstores. And you know the place is mobbed. Everyone, it's it's the perfect gift to get kids. Absolutely. Books are really a window to the world. We want to start the kids reading at a young age. Absolutely. Now, you uh, mentioned Barrington Books. Let's talk about uh, how charming bookstores are. Nothing oh. beats a, going into a local bookstore, and people and will have the opportunity to meet you tonight at one of those bookstores. Yes, Tell us about I'm it. I'm going to an unlikely story, which if you haven't been, is Jeff Kinney, Diary of a Wimpy Kids Bookstore in Plainville. And it is, every time I'm there, it's just fabulous. It's full of kids, there's a ton of books, there's coffee, there's wine, there's people. It's a real center of the community. I'll be there today at 4 o'clock with all my books, so please come by and say hi. Wine in the bookstore has just taken my love of bookstores I, to the next level. It's my favorite. I mean, it's bookstores are just the best place, and this is a fabulous one, and supporting local bookstores is key. Absolutely, and talk about the uh, nonprofit that you've started. I started uh, a nonprofit called Workshop 2.0 uh, in Los Angeles, and it's to help kids kids on the autism spectrum uh, get their work out there because Jake is an illustrator on the spectrum but lots of other kids authors illustrators graphic novelists so uh, through a micro enterprising model I'm helping them kind of curate the books giving them editorial support marketing right. support we did a whole series of uh, emoji adventures um, ABC alphabet book um, stinky Steve I am not above I mean you know <laughs> popular culture fart jokes, whatever it is to get the kids reading. So we're, we're really working with a lot of kids. So any kids on the autism spectrum or parents with kids on the spectrum can go to our website. Anything that gets them turning those pages. Absolutely. It's Janet, all about that. a pleasure to have you Always here. Always a treat. We appreciate it very much. We wish, wish you the best of luck with your career and yes. the signing. It's going to be great stuff. If you missed any of the titles or information that Janet just shared, don't worry. We're going to post it all on our website, roadshow.com.